Hi, my name is Jeffrey. And in this video, I'm going to show you the different type of tests in the A-B testing functionality of the U-Marketing Suite. To get started with A-B testing, make sure you've installed the U-Marketing Suite and set up your first goal. There are four different types of A-B tests possible within the U-Marketing Suite. And in this video, I'm gonna explain each uh, A-B test. The first test we're going to implement is by far the coolest test that's available within the marketing suite. It's called the single page test. If we go to this page, we can see a specific product named two tier shelves and an image of this shelves. When we go to this uh, page in the back office of Embraco, we can see it's set up in Embraco in the usual way. And if you now go to the content app A-B testing, you can start a new test called a single A-B test. We're gonna start a test. I'm gonna expand the screen a bit. We're gonna start this test and we're gonna give it a title. Um, the title of the test is different for Ryan's. It's just a normal title. We're gonna put it in a demo project and we're gonna make a description. Different titles may result in better conversion rates. And the type of test is a single page test. We had the original, and now we're gonna make a new variant called Authentic Shelves. Once we click on the edit button, you will see the content is opened in a split view page. And on the left, we have the original called two tier shelves in this image. And on the right, we can create a new name and a new image. For example, authentic shelves. We're gonna select another image because we want to test whether a different title or a different image will increase uh, the results we see on this page. I'm going to look for a different image. And here you see a different image. We can save and preview this. So I've set it up like this, and this was the original. And hopefully we will see an increase in conversions with this variant. You go back to the A-B test and even create a third variant called demo shelves. Also for this variant, we can set up a title or only an image we can pick the image, for example, this image with a nice plant in it. I've picked another image and now I can set up a new title, demo shelves, and we can save in preview. And there you see demo shelves and this variant. In this case, we've created di three different versions of one page. We go back to the AB test. We're gonna select the goal, people, we're gonna put it in their cart. We're going to do the next step and we're gonna start the test. We're opening this browser. And the, there we see that in this case, we've, we are seeing the demo shelves with this picture. The second type of test is a multi-page test. You can start a test like that in the marketing sec section where you go to A-B testing, you select a project and you create a new test. You give it a name, for example, demo multiple pages. You give it a description and you select the test type. In this case, we can select multiple pages or document type and we're gonna choose multiple pages. In this case, we can use the content picker within Umbraco to select on which pages we're gonna test our A-B test. In this case, we're gonna select home, products, cart, and about. In this test, we want to make sure that custom furniture, this menu item, will stand out uh, and people click more on it. The variant that we're gonna set up now is, uh, is a variant where we have a gray background for the menu item. So we're gonna call it gray for Ryan. 
when I click the edit button, I will get a pop-up and I can add in some CSS or JavaScript. My front-end colleague was so kind to give us some CSS for a different outlining of the menu item. For example, this CSS, which we can save and preview here. You can see that custom furniture is standing out much more according to this one. We're gonna save this one and make, even make a third for right. And we're gonna call that floating right. Also for this case, we, create, we got some CSS. I will copy that in. And once we preview that, we see that the menu item is uh, shown over here. So now we have three different variants and we want to test which one is performing better. Once again, we're going to select the goal. We're going to the next step and we're going to start the test immediately. In this test, we want to test whether we can optimize the button that says add to cart and make it uh, give it a different color or a different font size to test which version is working better. This is, this is done in a so-called document type test. We go to the marketing se section and the A-B testing section and we're going to start a new test. Demo document type test. In this case, we're going to give it a description and we're going to select document type. Because the UMarketing suite is fully integrated in Umbraco, it knows the context of your website and you can specify on which document type you want to uh, uh, on which document type you want to perform this test. In this case, we want to test the product page because on every product page there is a button and on every product page we want to test whether a different button works. We have the original that's shown here and we're gonna create a purple variant. Once again, my front end person gave me some CSS that I'm copying over. I'm gonna put it into the CSS box and I'm gonna preview it. So I can make sure that it's working correctly and here you see a purple button. Okay, that's the first variant. And we're gonna make a third variant as well. It's gonna be a green button with an icon. Once again, we click on edit, we copy over the CSS that my colleague gave me. We're going to preview it. And there we have it. We have three different icons and we're going to test which one performs best. We're going to put it, set up the goal, go to the next step and start the test. The final type of test in the UMarketing suite is called the split URL test. It's not implemented at the moment, but I can demonstrate how it's going to work. For example, in this website we have a checkout page. It's a multi-step checkout page. You have to fill in your information. You can go to the next step. We're going to select the shipping and payment method, you can go to the next step, etc. But somebody reviewed the website and said maybe a single page checkout would work better. So we've created a single page checkout document type. Here we're going to see the URL and everything that's needed to complete this order is shown on one page. In this type of test, you can select both uh, Umbraco nodes uh, and test them beside each other. So 50% of the visitors will see the normal checkout and 50% will see the single page checkout. As I said before, it's not implemented at the moment, but starting in uh, June 2020, you will have the option to perform this kind of test as well. Well, that's it. You've seen the different types of tests you can perform within the marketing suite. Um, so please start testing today and I will see you next time. Bye bye.